Sodium triphosphate STP, also sodium tripolyphosphate STPP, or tripolyphosphate TPP, is an inorganic compound with formula sodium phosphide O10. It is the sodium salt of the polyphosphate pentaanion, which is the conjugate base of triphosphoric acid. It is produced on a large scale as a component of many domestic and industrial products, especially detergents. Environmental problems associated with eutrophication are attributed to its widespread use. Preparation and properties Sodium tripolyphosphate is produced by heating a stoichiometric mixture of disodium phosphate, sodium hydrogen phosphate, and monosodium phosphate, sodium hydride PO4, under carefully controlled conditions. 2 sodium hydrogen phosphate plus sodium hydride PO4 sodium phosphide O10 plus 2 H2 in this way, approximately 2 million tons are produced annually. STPP is a colorless salt, which exists both in anhydrous form and as the hexahydrate. The anion can be described as the pentanionic chain O3 POP O2 O P O3 5 minus. Many related D, tri, and polyphosphates are known including the cyclic triphosphate P3093-. It binds strongly to metal cations as both a bidentite and tridentite chelating agent. Uses In detergents The majority of STPP is consumed as a component of commercial detergents. It serves as a builder. Industrial jargon for a water softener. In hard water, water that contains high concentrations of Mg2 plus and Ca2 plus, detergents are deactivated. Being a highly charged chelating agent, TPP5- binds to decations tightly and prevents them from interfering with the sulfonate detergent. Food applications STPP is a preservative for seafood, meats, poultry, and animal feeds. It is common in food production as E number E451. In foods, STPP is used as an emulsifier and to retain moisture. Many governments regulate the quantities allowed in foods, as it can substantially increase the sale weight of seafood in particular. The United States Food and Drug Administration lists STPP as generally recognized as safe. Other uses other uses hundreds of thousands of ton per year include ceramics decrease the viscosity of glazes up to a certain limit leather tanning as masking agent and synthetic tanning agent SYNTAN anti caking setting retarders flame retardants paper anti corrosion pigments textiles rubber manufacture fermentation antifreeze TPP is used as a polyanion crosslinker in polysaccharide based drug delivery toothpaste dentifrice Saxton C van der Udera FGJ J. Periodontal Res. 1989, 24-75, 2. Lobine R.R. Clin Previous Dent, 1986, 81, 3, 3. Lobine R.R. et al. Clin Previous Dent, 1982, 4-5-8, 4. Mancody S. et al. J. Clin Periodontal, 2005-32, 70 75-80. 5. Mancody S. et al. Comp Contin EDUC Dent 1997-18, Spec No. 10-15, 6. Mallet M. et al. J. Clin Periodontal 2007, 34-762-767, 7. Lang N. P. Arch Oral Bile 1990, 35, Supple, 95-145. Health Effects Polyphosphates are hydrolyzed into simpler phosphates, which in moderate amounts are nutritious. For example, ATP, a related derivative of triphosphate, is essential for life. Thus, the toxicity of polyphosphates is low, as the lowest LD50 after oral administration is greater than 1000 mg per kilogram body weight. Similarly, no mutagenic, carcinogenic, or reproductive effects have been noted. Salts of polyphosphate anions are moderately irritating to skin and mucous membranes because they are mildly alkaline. Environmental effects 
In 2000, the worldwide consumption of STPP was estimated to be approximately 2 million tons. Because it is very water-soluble, it is not significantly transferred to sewage sludge, and therefore to soil by sludge spreading. No environmental risk related to STPP use in detergents is indicated in soil or air. As an ingredient of household cleaning products, STPP present in domestic waste waters is mainly discharged to the aquatic compartment, directly, via waste water treatment plants, via septic tanks, infiltration or other autonomous waste water systems. As STPP is an inorganic substance, biodegradation studies are not applicable. However, STPP can be hydrolyzed, finally to orthophosphate, which can be assimilated by algae and or by microorganisms. STPP thus ends up being assimilated into the natural phosphorus cycle. Reliable published studies confirm biochemical understanding, showing that STPP is progressively hydrolyzed by biochemical activity in contact with waste waters, in sewerage pipes and within sewage works, and also in the natural aquatic environment. This information enabled the calculation of worst-case predicted environmental concentrations using the EUSES model and the HERA detergent scenario. A default regional release of 10% was applied instead of the 7% regional release indicated in the HERA detergent scenario. Reliable acute aquatic ecotoxicity studies are available which show that STPP is not toxic to aquatic organisms. All EC, LC50 values are above 100 mg, L, Daphnia, fish, algae. Because of this, and because of the only temporary presence of STPP in the aquatic environment due to hydrolysis, no studies have been carried out to date concerning the chronic effects of STPP on these aquatic organisms. Predicted no-effect concentrations were therefore calculated for the aquatic environment and sediments on the basis of the acute aquatic ecotoxicity results. Effects of wastewater containing phosphorus Detergents containing phosphorus contribute, together with other sources of phosphorus, to the eutrophication of many fresh waters. Eutrophication is an increase in chemical nutrients, typically compounds containing nitrogen or phosphorus, in an ecosystem. It may occur on land or in water. The term is, however, often used to mean the resultant increase in the ecosystem's primary productivity, excessive plant growth and decay, and further effects including lack of oxygen and severe reductions in water quality in fish and other animal populations. Phosphorus can theoretically generate its weight 500 times in algae. Whereas the primary production in marine waters is mainly nitrogen limited, fresh waters are considered to be phosphorus limited. A large part of the sewage effluence in many countries is released untreated into freshwater recipients, and here the use of phosphorus as complexing agents is still an environmental concern. See also Acceptable daily intake References